What's going on guys, it's your boy Jho bringing you a brand new video and today we're gonna be taking a look at Xur for week number 22 I believe. So Xur is here for the weekend like usual. Uh, if you guys are new to the game, Xur is a vendor at the tower that appears every Friday. And uh, he stays for only 48 hours and sells bull just kidding he sells some good stuff sometimes but anyways let's take a look at his inventory for today here's what he's got and let's go over it so first up for the exotics titans get the glass house it's a new dark below exotic and it has a not bad stat on it its perks are increased melee attack speed Replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade and Blessing of light and weapons of light last longer uh, This Titan helmet is not bad. It's not the best uh, there are better ones like Helmet Saint 14 or Maybe this one if you're looking to do Crota on hard mode because it has the replenish health perk but yeah glass house not bad if you want it to get to level 32 go ahead but there are better ones than this for the hunters we have don't touch me again but it's a really good one because the stat is higher this time don't touch me I might purchase it just because it has a higher stat than the previous ones that he sold um, really good for the hunter I recommend it 100% it has the taking damage from a melee attack makes you briefly invisible that perk is really amazing, really good, helps you solo the first part of Crotazan, the lamp section, and uh, you can do pretty good stuff with this gauntlet. Uh, increased reload speed with special weapons and increased super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness. Always a good one to have for PvE. I recommend this. Pick it up if you're a hunter. Pretty cool gauntlets. For the Warlock, we got Sunbreakers once again. What's he doing? I don't know. I think I think this is the first time he sold it since the DLC came out, since Dark Below dropped. But anyway, Sunbreakers, if you guys played the game back from when it first came out, this guy has sold Sunbreakers an unbelievable amount of times. And here it is making a return in a higher light level and stat roll possibly. Uh, so yeah. Increase the duration of your solar grenade, increase reload speed with special weapons and melee hits, replenish grenade energy. Pretty okay gauntlet in my opinion. It's not the best thing ever for warlocks, but um, you can go ahead and buy it. It's pretty cool looking if that's what you're into, the designs like that. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But anyways, uh, yeah. So it's it's up to you. It's it's your preference. If you need it to get to 32 or something like that, go ahead and buy it. But if not, it's not the best thing. There's better stuff like Heart of Praxic Fire that he hasn't sold yet. And then for the weapon, we have the Plan C, which he sold two times before. I believe this is the third time. Really good a fusion rifle. Um, a lot of people probably have it already because he sold it many times already. But, uh, yeah, so a charge and equip times are very short immediately after weapon swap. And this weapon has bonus accuracy for, while firing from the hip. Pretty good. It's, it's, it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's probably the best fusion rifle, one of the best in the game. Um, but if you like using other exotics in your exotic weapon slot, in any of your slots, uh, then you don't really need it. It's good for arc. Uh, nightfalls and stuff like that, but and sometimes crucible if you like using fusion rifles. But other than that, um, it's it's a it's an above average weapon. That's that's the general consensus. Then we got the exotic shard seven, and the exotic engram which I did buy to open up in a video. So check that out. And then for the upgrade exotics. The previous exotics from before the DLC. We have Acleophage Symbiote and Crest of Alpha Lupi. This one's probably the better one to do. It has a pretty decent stat roll as well. So I'd recommend this one for the Hunters. 
For the Titans, I recommend Insurmountable Skull for it over No Black of Plans because this one has the Replenish Health perk, which is really good on Crota on hard mode. And then for the Warlocks, we have Skull of Dire Ahamkara and Light Beyond Nemesis. Uh, it's up to you. I recommend Light Beyond Nemesis probably because of the same reason as Skull Fort. Uh, has the replenished health when you pick up an orb perk. And it also has spawn more orbs, which is pretty good in the Crota hard mode fight as well. For the weapons, we have Hard Light, Soros Regime, Mita Multi Tool, Thorn, Icebreaker, and Super Good Advice. The best ones to go for are Soros Regime, Icebreaker, Thorn, Mita Multi Tool, Hard Light, and then this dude last, because it's junk. Just kidding. Sometimes. Nah, it's, it's not that good. But, anyways, that's Zer for week. 22 thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for engram opening and more videos later as well thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace